And now it's 447 now and getting a check of your weather. And we are expecting some much better conditions out there today than what we were seeing yesterday, Damon Singleton. Already cooler temperatures out there this morning. Already cooler temperatures. The skies are mostly clear already this morning. Uh, it's a little bit on the windy side, especially along the coastline. And that's going to be with us, especially that small craft advisory is going to be a problem for if, for those of you who are planning to take the boat out this morning. Uh, but let me start in the tropics because we've got some activity out there. We're still in hurricane season. And uh, with that in mind, the, uh, the good news is that the Gulf and the uh, Caribbean are still nice and clear, and that's going to continue to be the case for the next several days. But we're following, of course, Hurricane uh, Gonzalo, which is now a Category 2 hurricane with a, a 110 mile per hour winds. And if you look closely in this picture, you can just about make out the, uh, the coast of Puerto Rico uh, very closely here, right about in there. So this storm is a uh, little to the, the, uh, the east of Puerto Rico. It's going to continue to open on Puerto Rico over the course of the morning, and uh, that's going going to be some great news for them. This is another area of low pressure that we're following very closely. It's dealing with a lot of dry air just to the north of it. It's got a low chance of developing into a tropical system because uh, conditions are not conducive at all for development. But we're going to keep our eyes on that too. And uh, we're going to keep our eyes uh, probably more so on, on Gonzalo as it continues to possibly strengthen further into a, category, into a category three storm as it heads towards Bermuda. Bermuda that just dealt with it, a storm just a little while ago. Here are the coordinates for this storm. 19.6 north, 64.4 west. Again, moving northwest at about 13 mile per, miles per hour, 110 mile per hour winds. Here's the National Hurricane Center forecast track, turning this storm into a Category 3 storm with 125 mile per hour winds uh, early in the morning, and then moving it towards, uh, if not just about over Bermuda, over the course of the next several days. And you can see Bermuda. I've circled it right there, and the track, of course, takes it right over Bermuda, which is very bad news for them, but as a Category 2, not necessarily a Category 3 storm. For us here locally, the frontal boundary that brought us all the rainfall and all the severe weather yesterday, well, it is well up to the east of us. That's where the worst of the weather is. Uh, some potentially severe weather moving through parts of Georgia and the Carolinas into Virginia this morning as well. And that storm will continue to move off to the uh, north and to the northeast over the course of today and into tomorrow. And it's going to leave us with some pretty good conditions. Some of the, some of the storm reports that we had over the course of yesterday indicated lots of strong winds, lots of downed trees and things like that, and we'll give you some more details about that over the course of the morning. Here's the forecast model. As I put this into motion, you'll notice that there's not much activity at all for the rest of the morning into the afternoon. We're nice and clear. Uh, we're looking good for Wednesday. I think Thursday is going to be a mostly clear day as well. Friday, we're going to see a few more clouds start to roll back in into the weekend. I think you're going to notice our temperatures back into the 80s for the most part, and the cloud cover is going to be back with us, but rain chances will stay pretty low. It's 63 degrees right now at the airport. 75 is the uh, humidity. And a quick look at your hour by hour forecast. And as you can see, temperatures only getting into the mid, mid 70s this afternoon, which is some great news for us as well. Quick look at your seven day forecast as I toss this over to Susan Isaacs and Time Saver.